Hey there, this is just a quick video to show you how to make four or five different types of homemade batteries. I'll fill each cell with different fluids, the lemon juice, lime juice, vinegar, salt water, tap water, and then I'll take some volt, amp, and general power readings, see what we can get. You can see the LCD clock running there. That's just running off a two cell tap water battery right now. I just wanted to show you this five cell lemon battery. I actually got it to run this buzzer. It's pretty cool. So five lemon cell batteries. We'll hook it up to this small buzzer. There it is. That's just running off a two cell tap water battery right now. You add in some acid like the vinegar, lime, and lemon, or salt water, cranks it up even more. I had it hooked to all four, but it was burning out the screen. It was so bright. All right, and here's the red LED running off the water battery. Okay, here's the flickering tea light. I got it hooked up to the four cell vinegar battery right now. You can see that works pretty good. There's the red one with the vinegar battery. You can see that's pretty bright. And the wires. Again, the vinegar battery. It's amazing the things you can extract electricity out of. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and strip down some of this old extension cord wire so we can scavenge the copper out of it. Cut them down. So they should look like that. Put them together, twist them around the top. I'm going to use two of those pieces per screw of a nice thick piece of copper. Just bend it about there. You should end up with something that looks about like that. So that'll connect cell 1 to cell 2, and then just do this a couple more times. There it is. Now just gotta add the different liquids, and I'll take some power ratings. I'm gonna go ahead and just as a baseline, I'm gonna use tap water first, then we'll go vinegar, lime, lemon, and salt. Alright, 3.26, 3.28. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and try a vinegar battery. Tap water one was 3.25 roughly. Vinegar's holding very steady at 4.1 volts, so definitely stronger than the tap. Let's see what kind of amperage we can get out of this. This is the vinegar battery again. Two point three. Let's move on to the I'm gonna go with the lime next. Three point eight volts. So higher than the tap water, but lower than the vinegar. And that's the line battery. 
That's the amperage. Or milliamperage. 1.1 1. 1 something. Alright, let's move on to the lemon juice battery now. Five. So a little bit higher than the lime juice. Kind of creeping up there towards four. A little bit less than the vinegar, but more than the lime juice and a lot more than the tap water. And milliamps. This one's about 1.69. Again, this is the milliamps, 1.69, 1.68 on the lemon juice. 1.67. Okay, and finally the salt water battery. This is about a quarter cup of salt mixed in with two cups of water. Didn't need this after all. Showing 3.01, 3.00, almost exactly 3 volts out of the saltwater battery. Pretty low on the milliamps on the saltwater battery. Dropped all the way down to 0 0.89, 0 0.9, 0.89. You notice I got these all hooked in series for the voltage. If you want to get the higher amperage, just hook some of them in parallel too until you get the right voltage and amperage mix for whatever you want to run. Just figure anything that runs on a button cell battery you can probably run on one of these water batteries or juice batteries. It's amazing the things you can extract electricity out of. Certain fruits and vegetables will work as well. Morse code.